Well, good day, YouTube. Let's see what's in the cupboard. Today, we will be reviewing the fine company beer, Hans Grapefruit Rattler, at 4.5% alcohol by volume. Okay, so let's talk about fine beer company. I went into an Urban Cellars, and this was the first time I've ever seen anything by fine beer company. And I was like, where's it made? Who makes it? And I started looking all over the box. And the box told me absolutely nothing. So I was like, I bet you this is owned by a big guy, but it's a Rattler. I like Rattlers. Let's buy the Rattler. And I bought the Rattler. And I took it home. And before I opened it to look at the can, I started doing a little bit of research. Well, and I found out that it's a Molson Coors product. It's apparently part of the uh, Six Pints lineup, which was the the guys that owned the uh, Beer Academy. Well, not the guys that owned, but the people that ran the Beer Academy in Toronto and stuff like that, which was the craft line from Molson Coors. Uh, I read that this is in the Maritimes. I don't know if there is one out this way or not. All I could find was a Maritime location. It is 4.5% alcohol, like I said. Uh, we have ingredients are beer, which should have given away who owned it too. So we have beer, sugar, grapefruit, uh, grapefruit from concentrate, lemon juice concentrate, Citric acid, ester gum, gum arabic, and natural flavor. A little disappointed in the ingredients. A little disappointed in the fact that we have to make fake breweries all the time to get somebody to buy something. However, one of my... I, I, I do not deny that I really like Bud Light Rattler. Uh, it's not my favorite Rattler. Steagle's still the one that holds me. But I really do like the Bud Light Rattler. So, whether or not Molson Coors makes this, as long as it's good, that's all that really matters to me. So, it looks like it's an unfiltered beer, but I mean, whether or not it really is, I don't know. It's got some haze to it. It's a nice golden color. Bright white head. The snap crackle pop is real. I can hear it from here. Maybe if I shut up long enough, you could hear it from there. Probably not, eh? Um, looks the part. Looks the part of a Rattler. Color and everything. I just remember going, like, who? who's fine? Who's the fine beer company? Okay, it smells like a grapefruit Rattler. Like, lots of grapefruit note, but it does have that, that um, sweet note to it. Out of the glass, it's the same out of the glass. It's a sweet noted. It 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 has sweet notes. I mean, that's it. It smells like almost like grapefruit candy. Ah, I guess uh, we should give her a shot, eh? And cheers. Okay, it does, and I wasn't a big fan of it. Uh, Molson had a few different Rattlers out. Um, they had like their 
Coors Rattler. And it wasn't one I was big on. And this kind of reminds me of it. Uh, it has a little bit of grapefruit note to it. Uh, both sweet grapefruit, like a grapefruit soda, like, like, um, like a Doritos grapefruit soda, mixed with a little bit of sour, like you're drinking an actual grapefruit juice. But on top of that, it has almost a tiny touch of like Opeachy bubblegum. And I mean, if you like the f flavor of Rattlers, but the reason you stay away from a Rattler is because it's normally like between 2 and 3% alcohol. This is 4.5, so it's closer to an, a regular beer. So this might be right down your alley. That being said, for me, when I pick up a Rattler, I want to pick up a Rattler because I, you know, I'm going to be out in the sun all day with my friends or something. And I want to just be able to put back a 12 pack without feeling dizzy because the sun has made me sweat all day and stuff like that. And that's where the, the like two, 2.4, 2.53% alcohol beers really come in handy. I got a burp coming. Oh, yeah. So, with that being said, I don't particularly enjoy, excuse me, that uh, it is a 4.5% alcohol beer. I don't particularly enjoy that it doesn't say anywhere on the exterior case who owns them. And I mean, I think to me, that's, and I get it, I do get it. There are a lot of people that will never give a beer a chance and will be like, no, it's owned by a big guy, I'm not drinking it. Like if Banded Peak talked about who owned them, or Creamore talked about who owned them, or Goose Island talked about who owned them, or, you know, like, the, the list goes on. Um, if, uh, well, again, the list just, it just goes on and on and on and on and on. There's so many... There's so many craft breweries that have been bought big big guys or big guys that have made their own pretend craft brewery, their pseudo craft, that people wouldn't even give it a shot. So I get why they hide it. And again, as soon as I picked up the case and I flipped it all over and all I could see was Fine Beer Company and that was about it and the percentage and, and what it was. And that's all I could find on the case. I was like, this is a big guy that owns it. But I was like, I'm still going to try it. So I bought it and tried it. But I get it that a lot of places hide who makes it. You know who really should hide what they make? Minhaus. They're the only ones that really should hide anything they make. I think you're doing yourself a disservice because even if you might get a few people in the that really like craft beer that aren't going to try it, there's still more macro beer drinkers than there are craft beer drinkers. And you may actually get somebody that loves Molson or loves Coors or something go, you know what? That's a Coors product. I'm going to try it. You might actually see more of that happening if you were admitting to what you make. All that being said, it tastes like Opeachy bubble gum with grapefruit juice and grapefruit soda. It isn't a bad tasting beer. Just too high ABV for me to get behind it as a Rattler. And again, 4.5 is a low ABV, I get that. It's just, again, I, I buy this style for a reason. And that, that's all it comes down to. Um, that being said, do I think it tastes gross? No. But would I buy a case of this again? No, because I can actually buy like Great Western's Citrus Rattler here, or Stiegel Rattler here, and uh, I like both of those better. So this will get a 6.75 out of 10. There's nothing wrong with it. I just, I, I wouldn't buy it again. Cheers. Bye-bye. <sighs>